What's going on everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ricky and today we're going to learn how to play Let It Go from the movie Frozen on the good old Huke. As always, if you do like these videos, make sure you give a big old thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below and the bell notification to be notified every single time I upload a video right here on the YouTubes. 70% of y'all that watch these videos and come back and watch more of my videos have not hit the red subscribe button. So please don't be part of the 70% and click the red subscribe button it is free it'll turn gray and you'll be part of the potato squad but let's get into the chords that we need these are the chords that we're going to be using in this song if you're like boo ricky i know these chords are ready let's move on to the strumming or the play along boo well first of all please don't boo me i can hear it and it hurts my feelings but you can go skip ahead you can also skip ahead to the strumming section also there is a separate play along video for this song which consists of the lyrics and chords on screen while i strum and sing the entire song so you can play with me and it's an easy play along and it's fun and it's good time so make sure you go check that out link will be in the description and in the top of the comments also, as always, for every song that we do on this channel, you can download the full PDF chord sheet of this song, which consists of the full lyrics and chords, and you can download it and save it on your laptop, uh, tablet, phone, wherever you save things, and that is on Patreon, so you can go check that out. But if you want to know how to play these chords, you're like, Ricky, I don't know how to play those chords. This is a tutorial video. Teach me. I got you. Just stick around, please. Let's, let's learn together. All right, so now that we're zoomed in and you have a better view of the uke and my beautiful fingers, let's go ahead and learn where we're gonna put our fingers on the uke for each chord. As always, I will put a visual representation of where I need to put your fingers on the uke. I think it just helps a lot when you can visually see it and then also have me talk you through it. So the first chord that we're gonna need is the C chord. And the C chord, how we're gonna play this one is, you're gonna take your middle finger, you're gonna place your middle finger on the first string, which is the bottom string, first string, third fret, and it's going to sound like this. The next chord that we need is the C minor chord, and how we're going to play this one is you're going to take your pointer finger and you're going to place your pointer finger over the bottom three strings on the third fret. So it's going to be on the third, second, and first string on the third fret, and that's your pointer finger, and you're just going to go over all three, and it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the D chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna place your pointer finger on the fourth string, second fret. Then you're gonna take your uh, middle finger and place it on the third string, second fret. And finally take your ring finger and place it on uh, the second string, second fret. So your fingers are occupying the fourth, third, and second string on the second fret. And it should sound like this. Beautiful. The next chord is the E minor chord and how I always say it looks like a staircase going down. How we're going to play this one is you're going to take your pointer finger and you're going to place your pointer finger on the first string, second fret. Then you're going to take your middle finger and place it on the second string, third fret. And then finally take your ring finger and place it on the third string, fourth fret. So again, it's just going to be pointer finger on the first string, second then middle finger on the uh, second string, third fret, and finally your ring finger on the third string, fourth fret. So it's gonna look like that, and it's gonna sound like this. And last but definitely not least is the G chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and place your pointer finger on the third string, second fret, then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it on the first string, second fret, and then finally take your ring finger and place it on the second string, third fret. So it should look like this, and it should sound like this. And there you have it. So those are all the chords that we need for this song. As always, if you do need a little bit more extra time, make sure to press the pause button right now, rewind to whatever section or chord that you need a little bit more time on. And then as soon as the chords sound crisp and clear, let's go ahead and press the play button and move on to the strumming part of this video.
All right, so now that we know the chords, let's talk about how we're gonna play this song with the strumming pattern. As always, I will teach you a few different ways you can play this song. The first way being for a true beginner who's like, Ricky, I just picked up uke last week, yesterday. I literally just picked it up right now. I don't have time or the want to learn how to play a strumming pattern. It hurts my brain. Well, I got you. The first way that we're gonna play this song is just going to be with a simple down strum. So you're gonna strum it down with your thumb on all four strings. And then as soon as you see a chord change, you're just gonna strum down again. So again, you can just strum down whenever you see a new chord change. Simple, you can just simplify it and it sounds absolutely amazing. The second way that we can play this song is going to be with an actual strumming pattern and that strumming pattern is going to be a down, down, up, up, down, up. So again, that strumming pattern is a down, down, up, up, down, up. Let's do that one more time in three, two, one. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Very good. Let's do it one more time. I believe in us. In three, two, one. Down, down, up, up, down, up. So you're gonna do that strumming pattern throughout the entire song and you're just gonna keep on playing it and then switch between chords. So let's do a little bit of a little tiny play along. Again, the full play along will be linked down below. That video consists of the chords and lyrics on screen. We already know that and the downloadable PDF chord sheet is on Patreon. Links for everything down below. So again, that strumming pattern is going to be a down, down, up, up, down, up. And the last string pattern that we can use for this song and actually how I played it in the full play along video is going to be the exact same strumming pattern that we just talked about, but we're gonna add chucks into it. So instead of doing a down, down, up, up, down, up, it's gonna sound like this. Down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. So again, that strumming pattern with the chuck is going to be a down, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. I think adding a chuck just adds a little bit of spice into your strumming. If you do want to learn how to chuck, I did a dedicated video on how to chuck. It's a tutorial. You can click right up here. It's going to say how to chuck tutorial. Uh, click it, watch it, and you'll learn how to chuck. But I think it just adds a little bit of extra spice into your strumming. So again, instead of doing that strumming pattern without this chuck, it, that sounds like this. Down, down, up, up, down, up. You're going to do a down, chuck, up up chuck up and it'll up sound absolutely amazing and spicy like this uke which we'll talk about at the end of the video so make sure to stay to hear this uke all right so we learned the chords and the few different ways you can play this song on the good old uke congratulations you now know how to play let it go from the movie frozen on the good old uke as always, if you did like this video, make sure to give a big ol' thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below and the bell notification to be notified every single time I upload a video right here on the YouTube. Spicy. Uh, as always, I'll leave links to everything down below. Also, make sure to check out the full play along video for this song, which is already live on my channel. That video consists of the lyrics and, and chords on screen while I strum and sing the entire song, so it's a super easy play along. So come join us, sing with us, play with us. And also links for everything down below for this uke. This is a concert size and a uke. As you can see, I am kind of a fan of uh, this uke. This is the concert size. They also have soprano and tenor size, which are muy amazing. This is the red one, which I think looks absolutely amazing and sounds amazing and it's just super unique and also it's not very expensive. So you can go check it out for the Amazon page link below, also on top of the comments. And what else? What else can I tell you to do? Leave a comment below, follow me all my socials. If you do wanna support this channel, link for my Patreon will be down below where you can download the full PDF PDF, PDF court sheet for this song. I can't speak. Also, if you do want to go check out the merch, this is the Uke Fam hoodie, which is the logo for our channel. We also do have hats, mugs, all that good stuff. So if you do want to go check that out, link for the merch store will be down below. But that is pretty much it for me. We're going to be doing a bunch of Disney songs, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Again, don't be part of the 70%. We don't like them. Ew, gross. We don't want to be part of that 70. We want to be part of that 30% amazing and let's grow that percentage you know be a potato squad member let's do it that is it for me uh yeah i guess that's it i guess that's it wow thank you so much for watching i love you 
I hate to leave you, but I don't know why I'm hiding behind this. I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye. I'm delusional. I need to go to bed. Bye-bye. Goodbye. 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 Bye.